Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullah. I'm Dr. Faiz Qasim, consultant pediatrician, and I'll be demonstrating how to uh, insert the new generation chest tubes to drain the chest out of air or effusions. These new generation chest tubes save your patient from incisions and dissections. They come with a needle inserter rather than the conventional trocar. So this comes with the name of Easy Drain and it is composed of three basic parts. The needle holder that contains the chest tube and you have the connection gadgets and you have the uh, valve, hemlich valve or the underwater seal. You can use either to prevent the re-entry of air back into the chest. After identifying the need to insert the uh, chest tube, you should gather your uh, instruments that should include antiseptic solution, uh, 03 stitch, lidocaine 1%, sterile gauze, surgical gloves, and offsite needle holder. After opening the packing of the easy drain, you would find the needle holder covered with the cap and you have the catheter inside that is covered with a barrel shaped plastic sheath. The connection gadgets include a three-way and you have the needle connector this cap, this plastic cap, you have to remove it and you just keep it like this and you take the conical connector and you attach it to the other side. This will be the part that you are going to attach the hamlet valve inside it. After identifying the uh, site of insertion, you would position your patient. You're going to use a roll below the affected side of the chest. You're going to put the arm in a position above the head internally rotated you're going to uh, put antiseptic solution and you're going to anesthetize the area using 1% lidocaine 0.5 ml now we are talking about new nates. after identifying the fourth intercostal space which is the desired location of insertion while you can also insert into the fifth but we use the fourth intercostal space usually in new nates. you're going to take the needle holder remove the cap and the important part lies that you grab the needle with your index and the thumb one centimeter before the tip so that you prevent excessive entry of the needle and damage the internal organs. Having uh, catching it firmly, your, the rest part of the needle is resting inside your palm and supporting the patient by your assistant, you are going to go at 90 degrees. While going into the space, you would feel the give way and you could see the air uh, coming into the uh, barrel. After uh, confirming that you are inside the intercostal, uh, in, into the pleural space, you're going to redirect the needle towards the mid clavicular line of the, uh, the same side of the affected chest. And then you're going to insert and push the catheter forwards. You're going to push it forwards three to four centimeters in babies that are more than 1.5 kg and in babies who are less than 1.5 kg you're going to insert it only two to three centimeters after insertion you are going to pull the needle holder back and you would take the assistance to keep the catheter in its place with removing the needle holder and there is this plastic cap to prevent entry of air we are going to kink the tube of course there's somebody who's holding this part and you're going to remove this plastic uh, cover and you're going to take this plastic sheath that you have removed at the beginning and you're going to insert it into the chest tube now you're going to connect it with the needle connection which is already connected to the three-way and you are going to put this back to make a seal. Now this conical uh, connection is already connected to the Hamlet valve to prevent the re-entry of air as discussed before. And after you have assembled the catheter, now if the patient is on a mechanical ventilation or is having recurrent accumulation of air inside the uh, pleural cavity, you need to attach the end part of the Hamlet valve with suction and you keep the suction pressure at 10 centimeters of water. 
Now, sometimes the patient desaturates and you find that the air reaccumulated within the, the benefit of this three-way connector that you can use this part and attach a syringe in the situation if the air is not being drained or you find that the catheter is blocked either with the pleura or there are secretions within you can close the drain and you can open this area first of all you're going to block any air uh, from entering and then you're going to attach the needle over this part and then open it you can pull out any air or you can remove any secretions that has been stuck in inside the catheter sometimes what happens is your pleura is covering the fenestrae of the catheter uh, of the catheter so what we need to do is that we take only 0.5 centimeter of air and insert it this pushes the pleura away from the openings of the catheter and then you can suck out the desired amount of air and uh, this was the benefit of the uh, three-way connection of course maintaining the aseptic technique during the procedure is uh, by default and uh, thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video